Ladies and gents, welcome to a bout like no other. In the blue corner, the reigning heavyweight champion of the world, Park Tool TS 2.2. In the green corner, the underdog, Hobby Bikes Kurt Kinetic DIY Truing Stand. <laughs> Let's keep a clean fight. Nothing below the belt. Looking at you, Park Tool. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to do a head to head comparison of my Park Tool TS 2.2 and my DIY Kurt Kinetic Chewing Stand. I'm going to use a few key points of comparison. One being the ease of entry, indicator arm adjustment, lateral and radial truing. Flip dish capabilities, through axle restrictions, and ease of teardown and storage. Okay, let's get to it. Ease of entry. You can see on the left the park tool, quick turn, slides in, slides out. The Kurt Kinetic, it has that quick release axle. Just a quick turn and it's in. Now you'll notice that the Kurt Kinetic requires a quick release skewer in order for it to work properly. And ease of entry of the rear wheel. You can see again, park tool just slides in and out, quick turn. But it's actually not much different with the Kurt Kinetic. Slides in and out, but you still need the skewer. Okay, the indicator arm adjustment. Now you can see how easy it is with the park tool stand. The DIY stand on the other hand takes a little more time, but it's effective, it's efficient. So you can see it, there's a bolt held on by two nuts and you just adjust as necessary. Now the indicator arm is held on by another bolt and nut and it can it can come loose. So it's a failing of the design. We have to remember it's costing us nothing. And there we go. We just move the indicator arm in and out using the nuts. They tighten up to each other, and then we can start chewing. So now let's look at lateral chewing. Once the arms are set on the DIY stand, it's, uh, it's pretty easy. You just true as you would normally. The park stand is designed for this. So as you can see, I did the radial adjustment. And it, it's a little more time consuming on the Kurt stand. There we are. The indicator arm is right underneath the rim and you'll get an excellent, accurate reading of your radial true. And at the same time, an accurate reading of your lateral true on one side or the other. Which you can do also with the park stand when you place the rim in between and above the indicator arm. There we go, 
manually, we can change it back to lateral chewing. It takes a little bit longer than the park tool, but still efficient and still effective. So now we're going to do a flip dish. Basically what we're doing is we're flipping the wheel over so that we can check the dish. And it only takes a few seconds on the park stand. But it's a complete fail on the Kurt stand. The dish is completely different. That's not because the wheel isn't dished. It's because of the way that it sits in the stand. And of course the quick release skewer. So now we'll do a fat tire comparison. And as we can see in the park stand, it just slides right in. This is a 650B, so 27.5 wheel with a 55 millimeter cruiser tire, not a mountain bike tire. So there we go, it's set in the park stand. And there's a fair amount of room between the tire and the bottom of the stand. And we're still adjusting the indicator arms on the Kurt stand. And it doesn't look like there's quite as much room on the Kurt stand between the tire and the bottom of the stand. So we have about four centimeters of room on the park stand. And now that we finally got the, the wheel installed on the Kurt stand, there's only about two centimeters of room between the bottom of the stand and the tire. Now, through axle restrictions, neither stand accepts a through axle. So you have to have some sort of adapter. I have the adapters for the park stand, which work quite well but they won't work on the Kurt stand. So you have to be inventive and make something up. And a while ago, I, I, I kind of made up a, I, cu I cut a super ball in half and I used a spoke to kind of keep it together. And what I'd have to do is cut the spoke and it should fit into the Kurt stand without any problems. As you can see, the, the park stand is already ready to go. The through axle hub is there, it's set. And since we weren't ready for this, we still have to figure out how to install the through axle hub in the Kurt stand. It can be done, but we'd have to cut the spoke to size and it would probably work. At this point, it's a fail. Kurt stand is an indoor trainer designed to be folded up and put away under the bed or in the closet. It folded up very quickly and easily and it's gone. The park stand, however, it, it's not really designed to be stored, brought out, used, and then stored again. It's meant to sit on a, a workbench. Okay, the clear winner is the park stand here, but you don't have to spend the five to seven hundred dollars on the expensive stand if you're the home mechanic. Thanks again. 
Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, ask questions, and I'll see you on the next video.